If you need to deploy a large number of identical virtual machines, then Google Cloud's managed instance groups is the best way to do that. But its auto scaling feature is what takes it to the next level. So let's take a look at a configuration to see what it looks like. So let's start by going over here to the navigation menu and going down to compute engine and then over to instance groups. So what I have on this project is one managed instance group called web app. So let's click here to go to the overview page and we'll see that this managed instance group has three instances only. So each instance in this instance group is just an HTTP application that returns some basic instance information up here. It also has some built-in functionality that lets me increase the load on each instance in the form of CPU utilization. So let's initiate that on each of these machines. Down to the second one and the third. So now on each of these instances, the application is consuming more and more CPU. As you can see on the overview page, I have auto scaling enabled on this managed instance group. Let's take a look at the configuration. So what we have is a regional managed instance group distributed across three zones in the US central region. And if you go down here, you'll find the auto scaling configuration. If you have an existing managed instance group without auto scaling enabled, you'll have instead down here a button that says configure auto scaling. So I'm going to talk about a few of the options that you have in the auto scaling configuration. First, you'll want to choose what you want your auto scaling to be triggered by. And you can choose from any of these three metrics, CPU utilization, load balancing utilization, and stack driver monitoring metrics. Depending on your use case, you can choose one of these or a combination by just clicking add new metric. Next, you'll want to choose a minimum and a maximum. I'll set my minimum to three because I have a regional managed instance group and I want to make sure I have at least one instance in each of my three zones. If you know that it takes a while for your instances to initialize after boot time, there are three settings that you'll want to pay attention to. So the first one is the cooldown period. So the cooldown period is also known as the application initialization period. It's important because when an application on an instance is initializing, the usage might not reflect normal circumstances. So the auto scaler will not take into account the usage data from this time period when it decides to scale in or out. Second is the scaling controls down here. So scaling controls let you set a limit to how quickly the auto scaler scales your instance group down to avoid any sudden drops in the number of instances. So this isn't required, but it will help you optimize cost by avoiding turning down too many instances too quickly, only to have to wait for new ones provision immediately after. And finally, there's predictive auto scaling. So predictive auto scaling feeds your instance group's historical trends and current load into a machine learning model so that it can anticipate auto scale events. So this is gonna improve the availability because instead of scaling up reactively due to a metric threshold like CPU, the instance group will scale up in anticipation of the load that it predicts will happen based on real world usage. So if your application takes time to start up, this is going to be very valuable in helping ensure that your instance group is ready to handle an increase in load when it happens without having to wait too long for initialization. Together, predictive auto scaling, scaling controls, and an accurate cooldown period will increase availability and optimize spending on resources. So if we go back to our overview page, we'll see that the auto scaler has already started to provision additional instances to accommodate the CPU load of the group. Once that load is reduced, it'll scale back according to the scaling controls that I specified before. That was a super quick look at the auto scaling configuration of a managed instance group. When you're using managed instance groups on Google Cloud for your application, it's auto scaling is a really useful and powerful feature. With the right settings and configuration, you can increase your availability while reducing costs associated with compute resources.